Ryder. Good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian Arcs should be there too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion, requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. Construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. You gonna be okay, Ryder? The captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Just take a deep breath. This should have been my father's moment. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky on Habitat 7. But we survived that. Right. So, always keep a jump jet handy. I just updated the charts. All statements personnel report to duty stations. This is what we've been waiting for. Let your teams know the docking procedures are now in effect. We've got 20,000 colonists still asleep, and we'll need somewhere to put them when the alarm clock goes off. As soon as we get clearance from the Nexus, we'll be following stasis revival protocols. We want to avoid any log jams, so it's vital your teams coordinate with each other and keep people moving. Any questions so far? Uh, how do we handle deaths that occurred in transit? Right. It's an unfortunate fact that not everyone will have survived the voyage. We've already got scattered reports of medical problems from that dark energy cloud we hit. If somebody didn't make it, check with the medical officer. We'll see about notifying their next of kin. I'm hoping it's a rare exception. Also, try to keep it quiet. Andromeda is all about new beginnings, not holding funerals. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew. Just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. Means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one? After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. We could see what the VI has to say. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry, 
My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization effort. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7, the gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3, or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Plants are still alive. They didn't finish building it. Hello? That's pretty free. This place should be packed with people. Not seeing anything working. There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Arc? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen, 
After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are gonna be a real problem. This day just keeps getting better. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec... is dead. Please understand. The entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A Golden World. Now more than ever. We need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? I may not have been the first choice, but I'm ready for this. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. A Grogan. Oh, jeez. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hopes and short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance.
Hyperion is starting to send Italian supplies. Handling something big, is she? I'll just organize Hello, this as it comes in and send you and it. I are going to be very good friends. You know what the priority needs are. We'll get okay. you all fixed Thank up you. and ready to go in no time. As soon as we hook you up, we'll all that This is Nexus Control to Hyperion. This is the planet where we landed, Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Where's my ship? They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, please see me and Sam Lude on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. What do I gotta do? It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband. He's locked up and slated for exile. For a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him, please. 
I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the Jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. Let's deal with that first. All personnel, be aware of any suspicious activity. Help you? Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkin Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkin, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanting to chat with you. A Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. I'm not here to exile you. Told your wife I'd look into things. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and... I... I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It would be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. So there was a trial, and he was found guilty? It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. That is the difference between murder and accidental death. In this case, motive plus opportunity plus eyewitness account equals murder. Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Nyrene went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? 
Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. Lieutenant, based on the status report 16C, it seems we're no closer to gaining foothold in any sector. Without decent recon and greater intel on this enemy, I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. The risk involved and continued losses of resources and lives make it hard to justify. With morale this low, we need to scale down expectations again. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! It sees the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... <laughs> Get him off me! You'd be surprised. There's also Bervine in the seed bank. Nobody's making creeper in Andromeda. You'd be surprised. Pathfinder. No time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. The Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the Exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Ket are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. They were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. You okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait! 
That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me, if they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. Engineering reports. No, I hear you no, no, I'm fine. Now at 100 and I don't, I don't know. It, it just blew up. Find out why. Be careful. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. has been tampered with. Send the data to Raj. Yes, Pathfinder. Engineering update. We are working on accessing more power from the Hyperion. All non-relevant repair requests are currently on hold until power is... You're in the forest? Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... This is the captain. I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Patel's. A third party seems likely. The real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because we both figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't...
This file is useless. Let's check another. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Someone working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled. But if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. Director 10, I need my people focused on defending the station, not taking inventory. If you really need military oversight, I'll get Sergeant Nels to look at it. That said, it was my understanding the Exiles were more Calyx's people than the Sloans. He isn't the one who started the mutiny. Well, he might be. Calyx Corvanus may have started it. But Sloane made her allegiances clear. I know she held you in high regard, but I hope you can be impartial when it comes to this task. Sloane Kelly's not who I thought she was. There won't be a problem. Good. Then you won't be object to sending a small discreet reconnaissance team to find out where Sloane and the Exiles might have gone. When we do get colonial efforts up and running, I don't want any surprises. Trail's cold. On what looks like abandoned camps in the Pfeiffer system. But none with living inhabitants, only graveyards. The conspirator Irida was among the dead, but not Sloan Kelly. This person is not a match. is not a match. Scan results show a partial positive. Target is most likely suspect. Who is he? Dale Atkins reports to Kandros's department, assigned to station security. Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Vigors, screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... Whatever happened back then, hurting people now makes no sense. What do you know? <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them, 
Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. Not my call. The Nexus leaders will make that decision. That lot make a decision? That'll be the day. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in? Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Writer, you may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Any idea where they went? Nothing certain, but tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda. 
And I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you it's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, is dead. How did Gene Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Gene Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. We came across alien technology on Habitat 7. It seemed to affect the weather. Your people know anything about that? There have been reports. Failed scouting missions have mentioned advanced structures of unknown design. Whatever they are, they defy explanation. But with our resources stretched so tight, no one has had a chance to study them. And what if the answer was bad for morale? Suppose these things turn people into food. All we know is the cat are interested in them. I'd rather not stir things up. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. 
the Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the Initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. As you pointed out, we need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success. tissue, like Quiro's rockfish. I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinitely adaptable, as our expedition proves. Please be advised that Hyperion docking procedures are now complete. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. What fields do you study? Eric's into life sciences. I do planetary geology, oceanography, rocks and runoff. Aradana's the space and math whiz. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Your work is important. Don't lose sight of that. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. Hi, Pathfinder. You want to hit some rocks for science? Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Power draw is now at 100%. 
There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the Initiative, Jian Garson, was killed. What happened to Jean Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Ten might know more. And I thought the Hyperion had a bat when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. I notice there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Why do you call Tan eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Nothing more for now. See you later.